Hello guys, welcome to SFDC Chronicle. Hope you all are doing fantastic. Today we'll talk about Content Management System Connect and definitely we'll demonstrate on how to implement the same in Salesforce. So what is CMS Connect, rather why CMS Connect? CMS Connect help us to reuse content, fetch header, footer, blogs, images, and many other content on our community pages from different CMS source. You can think about CMS Connect like this. Suppose we maintain all our content in a different place like Sitecore or WordPress or AM. And also, we don't want to load or store all the content in Salesforce because it's unnecessary to store the duplicate content in, in two places and maintain and maintenance cost will, will be increased. So, in that case, what option will rescue us is CMS Connect. Using that, Without storing the content in SFDC, we can fetch the content from different sites and show it all in one place in our community. So that is why we use CMS Connect. Now see in Salesforce, uh, the third party system that is supported by CMS Connect that is AM, Drupal, WordPress, SDL, Sitego, etc. Now, how to implement CMS Connect in Salesforce? So, first and foremost thing, we need to create a CMS connection in Experience Workspace Content Management. In our demonstration, we'll use WordPress as our source of truth for content. I'm going to pull the blog from Vogue website hosted on WordPress is just an example. You can use it for any of your website. So for WordPress, we have two public APIs and we can use it. So in our case, I will use the second one. So the second one is the first part will be same for that is public api.wordpress.com. That will be same for everyone. Now the second part where the site name is present, you can replace your site name. In, in my case, I have used Vogue. You can use your own site name. You need to just replace with your site name and the API is ready for you. So once the API is ready, you need to add this public api.wordpress.com in your CF, CSP trusted site and your cross-origin resource sharing. In these two places, you need to add this one. And in some cases, if your um, Salesforce org is an older one, in that case also, in, in those cases, if you found any error message, you are not able to see the content from your WordPress or, or your other site, then you sometimes it required to add those URL in remote site settings. So keep that in mind that you sometime you need to add your URL in remote site settings. So what we'll do, we'll fetch the JSON data from WordPress. It can be content list and it can be content item. So content list will show you multiple blocks in grid layout that also support pagination. Using content item, it will only show single block. So that is the difference between content list and content item. Now let's go step by step on how to configure CMS Connect in community. So I have already logged in into my community. I've already logged in in my community, in my Salesforce org, sorry, in my Salesforce org. 
and uh, I have uh, navigated to setup home page. You can navigate to your setup home page on uh, by clicking click on this gear icon and click on setup. So you will land to this setup home page. Now in this search bar, just search with community or digital experience, whatever you want. So once you are on the digital experience, click on auth sites. So I assume that you know a little bit of community and uh, you have you have configured your community, but you just want to show the CMS content in your community. So I have already built a community that is a customer community. I have named it as customer community. If you go click on the all site, you will get whatever community you have. All the list you will get on all sites. Now let's navigate to the workspace. So if I click on workspace, it will open the workspace. And from there, I need to click on content management. So here is the content management. I need to click on this content management and navigate to CMS Connect. If there is no CMS Connect, then you will get an um, button called Create CMS Connect. So I have already created a CMS Connect, so that's why it is coming here. So I will create a new one with like I will change it to WordPress. The connection type will be I will keep it as public, but you can use the authenticate one, authenticated one. So I will keep it as public. Now server URL, from where you get the server URL. You may be wondering about that one, that how are you able to get the uh, public API URL of WordPress? It's very simple. Just go to Google and search WordPress public API. So you will get this WordPress REST API resources. So once you navigate to this WordPress REST API resources, you will get all the public API that is present uh, for WordPress. So we want to fetch the post that is already present in my WordPress, the blog. So what I will do, I will not go to the user, rather I will scroll a little bit down and I will get it here. Here, this is the post. So that is what I am going to use today. So. To get a list of matching posts, I need to use this one. And for a single post, I need to use this one. So if I go to this one, then it will open a page like this. And here you will get all the URL. This is the URL that we are going to use, publicapi.wordpress.com. So from here, you just copy it and paste it here. Okay, now as we are using, so CMS connection will be of different type like HTML and JSON. So in this video, we are going to use the JSON one, will not use the HTML one. So if you are not going to use the HTML one, then please uh, just ignore root path, CSS scripts, all those things you can ignore. You can just click on add JSON and you need to provide a content name here. Okay, so I will use this one. Content. Okay, this is my content. Now, what I need to do, I want a list of content. That is, there will be multiple items within that list. I don't want a single don't want to fetch a single item. I want a list of items. So for that one, I need to click on add content list. So once I click on add content list, then I need to provide a name. So I will give it list. Now what will be the path? So if you go it here, then you need to just scroll a little bit down, you will get an example here. So this is how the 
I have already provided this one, the first one, till wordpress.com. Now I need to put the rest of the thing. So instead of en.blog, I will replace it by this one. Okay, so we we'll copy it and paste it here. Okay, now node path. What is node path? So if I navigate to this particular URL, I will get this JSON. Now this JSON will not come in the in this format. You can download a Chrome extension that is JSON formatter or like that one so that you will able to see the JSON in the correct format. So what is the note path? Note path is the start note of the content. So in our case, post is the start note. So that is the reason we have kept it as post. Now this one is done for me. I have created a content list. Now I need that whenever I click on a particular content um, list means whenever I click on a particular blog, it, it need to show me the details of that particular blog. For that one, I will create a content item. So for content item, I will item, I will name it like this. And the URL will be seen for that one as well. And after that, I need to append component. Component will, what will do? In the runtime, it will take the post ID and open that particular post. Now ID path. What will be the ID path if I go here and open this one? So this is my ID path. So I will need to just paste it here. And what is my title? Title will be this one. So I will copy and paste it here. And then if you want to enable language mapping, you can enable this one. So like uh, if, if it is some different language, you can map it here itself. But for now, I will not map it to any language. I just keep it uh, unchecked and click on save. Once I click on save, I will get a pop message that uh, my this connection will be saved in my CSP settings. I will click on OK and this will get saved. Now I need to navigate to the CSP setting. How I am able to navigate? Just navigate to setup home page uh, and in the search box, search with CSP. Once you search with CSP, you will get that. CSP trusted site. In the CSP trusted site, you can check like this will be this will be already enabled for you. And if if you see like please check this as per your security, just uh, keep in mind your security and then check this all. For the demo purpose, I have checked all this one because this is my contained source and I will also fetch some images from there. So I just check all those checkboxes for now. Now, once it is done, uh, what we need to navigate to the CORS course. CORS. And once you type it here, you will get a you can navigate it from here. Under security, you get this one. So once you click on this one, you will land it to here. Here you will get you will get to create a new one. You can create a new one if it is not WordPress because for WordPress I have already added this one. So you can add it. Um, from this new button. So I've already added a, a URL pattern for WordPress. So that is all related to setup we need to do before use using that particular content CMS connect in our community. 
Now once we have done all those things, now let's navigate to our community builder. So this is our community builder. This is our home page. Now it's up to you where you want to show your CMS content. So I don't want to show it in my home page. So what I will do, I have created a new page for my CMS Connect. You can create a new page from here itself. This is the new page. So when you click on new page, you will get a standard page or object page. You can choose standard page as per your requirement. You can choose and you can go ahead. So as of now, I have created a content management page here. And in this page, I will add my CMS Connect. Okay. So what I will do, CMS Connect JSON. So I will drag and drop it to here. So at first you will get no CMS sources selected yet. To do that one, just click on this one. So I have already created two, so that's why it's coming to. So I will select the appropriate one. And then I need to select the list because in this one, I want to show the list of CMS, the list of content. And then whenever I click on a particular um, content, it will go to the details of that particular content. So I will click on list and then I will click it. It need to be show on grid. Now item per page, you can like modify as per your need. I will keep it as three and column also three. Layout will be cart. Once I select cart, this will be this will come. So what I, from where I will get this title and author, what will be the title? So if you go over here, so enter a JSON expression or text for the title. So how can you able to know that what is present in your JSON for title? So navigate to that particular API. Um, I have navigate to here. So title will be my this one. This is my title. So here what I will do. Add the rate title. Author, what will be my author? So this is my author tag. So what I will do, add the rate author slash. I want to show the first name. So there is no first name, so I will show the name. Name. And published on. Published on is my date. Body. Body will be my content. At the rate featured image. Now you can like uh, change this to read more to uh, click me or whatever text you want. I will keep it as it is. Type will be my site page and I will click on save. So don't worry about this one. You will get this uh, can't access resources. This is an image and it is not able to fetch it because we have not added in our CSP. So what we'll do, we'll add this in our CSP. So from next time onwards, we'll able to fetch the image from that side. So this will be image. Image source, save. One I have added. Sorry, this one. Click on OK. This is the same. 
this is the same URL this is also same URL this is also same URL and done so you get your it is being fetched by our CMS connect but as uh, the images has not been fetched properly so what we'll do we'll refresh it once more and check whether our CMS connect has fetched that data properly or not that images properly or not so yes now the images is also being fetched this is the now click on publish and click publish again got it now click on preview how it look like so this is how it look like so if I click on read more it gives me all the details of that particular blog okay so I have done it for this one you can use any other site as I have mentioned previously so you can use that one also so in my in in this page also I have used another CMS connect uh, that I have got from this site so if you go to developer console you will from here itself you will get a en.blog.wordpress.com and it will look the JSON will look like this one this one so I've used that one as well in in my this page itself so this is also a CMS connect a JSON CMS connect and it is using that particular en.blog.wordpress.com and it is fetching all the data from there itself so it looked like this one and uh, the one that I have just shown you that is this one blog one and it is also fetch, fetching those content from wordpress.com so you can use any one of them or you can use your own site to fetch the data that is how it looked like uh, and if you click on read more you will get uh, all the details about this one So this is how you can able to set up your CMS Connect in Salesforce. It's very easy. You can do it in just point, just click and configure and it will not take much time for you. So the resources that help me for this one is uh, you can use those resources from where you can take help uh, and you can configure your own CMS Connect. So that is all for today related to CMS Connect. Hope you get some idea about how to, how to configure CMS Connect in Salesforce. And please don't forget to share, like and subscribe. Signing off for today. Have a great day. Thank you.